Hey everybody, it's the Musical Gamer, and get ready for Hostile Takeover Day on Let's Play Artanelico, The Melody of Alamia. Back to the Altar of Apostles we go to find God knows what waits us. Is it Ayatane? Is it Shirelia? Or is it a completely brainwashed Shirelia on the side of the viruses? Oh, crap. What is going on? Raventhill Utopia? You're talking like Mir now! What's going on? Who are you calling a foolish human? My god. She's really brainwashed. Uh oh. But Liard's not a Raventhill. Why are you attacking him with a Raventhill attack? Nah, that's besides the point. Anyway, it's boss time! Against Shirelia herself. Oh, I know I'm welcome to try. I took the liberty of grinding a few levels, not many, just uh, three for Orica and Radolf, just to kind of get them in better fighting conditions. Go. Honestly, it only took me about 10, 15 minutes, because they were so far behind on levels anyway, that it... It was not long at all for them to gain a couple. Ow. This battle's not too bad. It's straightforward enough. Just, um... I honestly forget if Shirelia attacks or not. I don't think she does. So... Eh, I'll let that charge up a little more, actually. So, this is pretty straightforward. Just beat the Type 4B down to the ground. And you should be fine. His attacks do okay damage, I suppose. But honestly, because it's three on one, it's not really going to be that much of an issue. See? That was pretty easy. I didn't even need to use Orica. Huh, and Radolf leveled up again. <laughs> Go, Radolf. Now, if Shirelia were to actually fight us, that would be a different story. But it's not like the game would ever actually make us fight Shirelia. No, of course not. The Prism Garden? Wait, what? You can't kill my dad! Uh, oh god, she's speaking in Hymnos. Oh god, that's not good. Wait a minute. If the viruses are emerging... Oh crap, that's what I was just thinking of, Crochet. Something might have happened to Misha. Yeah, we better head back down to the Crescent Chronicle right away. Alright, let's get moving. To the Crescent Chronicle we go. As we run down the obscenely long bridge. Right, uh, this way. We now have access to the full tower uh, on our map, so we can just head to the mini-map rather than having to climb down the tower manually. So that's kind of nice. It's not that inconvenient now. So I have no complaints. This bit of backtracking is not that bad, especially since we can, as you can see, go all the way up to Platina and all the way down, straight into, where is it? There it is, Emphena, right there. Oh, it's not bad at all. Uh, oh wait, actually no, we want to go to the Crescent Chronicle, don't we? Uh, there it is, yeah, Crescent Chronicle, <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I was thinking, Misha, Emphena, let's go! No, it's Crescent Chronicle. Uh, right, let's head this way. Oh, okay, so we can't go the way we came. We have to actually take the back road, so if you missed out on getting the treasure before, uh, this would be the perfect time to go get it, because, well, you got the time to. There is no reason you shouldn't uh, be able to get the treasure if you missed it before or just weren't paying attention, or were so engrossed in getting to uh, the Crescent Chronicle with Misha that you're just like, screw the treasure, I'll come back for it later. The world needs to be saved. Because as we all know, all JRPGs value saving the world over treasure. And if you believe that, then, well, you're pretty stupid or haven't played enough JRPGs. Oh, right, we actually have to break this door. Uh, whoa, okay, my 
game sort of froze there. That was odd. Okay, moving on. And we gotta break you. Now, my question is, why do we have to break... Why couldn't we break the other doors? And instead of having to go all the way around just to break doors to get in anyway, that... That just doesn't make sense to me, but, well, whatever. It, oh god, Misha! There she is. At least she's alright. Uh, do you care explaining why you stopped singing? Oh yeah, are you okay, too? I guess that's another important fact to know. Oh. Um, yeah, she was lying. Um, yeah, kind of taken over by Mir, or... It was, she was taken over by Ayatane, it looked like in that cutscene, but... What kind of connection does Ayatane have with Mir? Well, I guess we'll figure that out as we go. Yeah, it'll be just like old times. Awesome, Misha has joined the party. Ah, good old Misha. I'm actually gonna keep using Orica for now, though. Uh, might as well, and... <sighs> I'm gonna get into a battle in one step, aren't I? Oh, okay, maybe not one step. Can I get out of here? No, I can't get out of here. Alright, I'm just gonna... Wait, where are we even going, anyway? I... Honestly, did they even say where we're going? Haha! Uh... <laughs> Hidden treasure! I was wondering what that was. Uh... What is our objective? Oh, return to the cathedral. Okay. That, that we can do. Uh, I'll actually meet you guys up there in Platina, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, we are back and in Platina, so let's head to the cathedral right now. And see what dear old dad has to tell us. Uh, okay, how about dear old heir? Oh wait, that's right. <laughs> dear old dad got kidnapped. I, for some reason, forgot that. Yeah, what is the prism garden? It's the first time we've heard of it. Above the blast line? Oh, great! How are we gonna get there? We have to go past that plasma sea. Great. Just great. Well, how am I supposed to know? Well, they're actually giving me time to think. Alright, fine. I will use said time. And ponder. Ponder the meaning to life. Why I am here. Where are we going? Yeah, enough pondering. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a similar statue back down on the wings of Horus. And the meaning of the statue? What's the meaning? It looks like a sorceress and a knight. Huh. Okay. Most difficult classics. That seems like a pretty stereotypical knight and sorceress tale. The Legends of Alamia. I've actually found myself getting really into the mythology of the Artanelico series as a whole. I mean, I've been listening to a lot more of the hymns. I've actually been reading the translations as I go through them. They're really, really interesting. And I'm finding the mythos of the games to be really, really fascinating. I actually recommend uh, to look some of that stuff up, like the translations to the hymns. The the Artanelico wiki, as <laughs> as strange as it might sound, actually has a lot of information about, uh, well, everything going on. Like the history of the world, where it was, where it's going, and what's going on exactly. Though it's filled with a lot of spoilers. So if you don't like spoil spoilers, don't um, don't read too much. And we've come to a decision. We are flying above the blast line. Unfortunately, there's no way to do it. Well, great. Plan B. Oh, yeah, so I guess... Yeah, I guess we can't climb the tower like we have been doing. So basically, the game is telling us to take the shortcut. Oh, huh, that's new. That's true. Hmm. It does sound interesting. 
I thought Cruchet told us that the airship was nigh unrepairable. It, it, it was repairable, but it was just going to cost, like, uh, basically 50 small fortunes to fix. Oh, all right, well, looks like we're going to head back down to the Viola Forest and take a look at our airship. Yeah, that's that's true. She only did a rough estimate. Nothing, nothing actual. So let's head back down there now. It'll be really simple because the world map will let us. Yay to having a full world map! I love being able to just travel through the world map. Uh, makes things so much easier. All right, well, back to no, not Singing Hill. Back to the Viola Forest, the first area of the game we are ever in. It's been a while since we've been here. I don't think there are any new enemies. In fact, I'm almost willing to bet that it's all the same old enemies. Like I've said before, uh, there are no new enemies in any of the areas until Phase 3. Alright, Dr. Cruchet, what's the diagnosis? The Will it live to see spring? So bad. The ship is made out of real sturdy material. Well, I'd hope so. We kind of have the... the blast line. Yeah, we we kind of have the technology up there in Platina. Then it's a top of the line airship. I'll check what parts need fixing. This could take a while. Okay. Well, we'll leave you to it. The apparently Misha and Orica are giving us a little concert, and Radolf and I are, well, Radolf and Liner are having a spar, and Jack is kind of pacing around like a numbskull. Oh, Jesus, she wasn't lying when she said this is going to take some time. Looks like the most damaged parts are all inside. The most damaged parts are the flipper and the shearing core. And the symphonic power battery, which stores all the symphonic power. Okay. Other than that, the outside wall is lightly damaged, so I'll need air metal to fix that. All right, well... Does that that's a lot of things to fix. Well, yeah, it's a lot of things to fix, but is it going to be that problematic? It's easier from building a new airship from scratch. Exactly. Look at look at the positives, Jack. That's true, but it's going to be difficult to fix it all by ourselves. That's actually another good point. Who else are we going to be able to find that would be able to work on then this let's with look us? For people who can help. Well, yeah, but who? We might find someone else like Crochet in Firefly Alley. And the Teru tribe can make a lot of mysterious items, right? Plus, they can use magic. You're right. And though the church can't offer much in technical support, we can provide the manpower. Oh, so cool. Plan. Let's get to work. I love connections. And Misha should wait here. Wow, and we don't even have to lift a finger. We have a lot of volunteers from the church, so if there's any physical labor to be done, leave it to us. Awesome! We've got the Macho Men! Thanks. We're counting on you. We've got the Artinelico Beach Jocks! No, not not really. Flute knows something about symphonic power batteries. Wow, we actually got Flute and looks like it Lyra. It has something to do with a Nabite cap. A Nabite cap? Okay. If that's the case, I think it is possible to make our own. Awesome! I love it when... It <laughs> I love it when people do things for me. Lyra. Will you help us too? It's pretty much why I still live with my parents. <laughs> of course. I'll do anything for harm. Cradle robber. Harm. Aren't you popular with little girls? Oh, give me a break. She's <laughs> <laughs> late. I wonder what she's doing. Oh god. Well, Firefly Alley is farther than you'd expect. That's true, I suppose. That oh, there she is. Someone who will be a great help. Who'd you get? The Pope? Jesus? What the hell? Ayano? What the hell is Tenba doing here? Why are you so surprised? I told you that I'll do anything in my power to help you. Well, yeah, but I didn't think you'd be helping us that quickly. Resources, this should be rather easy. Oh, I guess so. See? Isn't she a great help? Yeah, I guess Tenba is the technology experts of this region. Then 
Let's go out and look for air metal. We'll need as much as you can find. You can find it up the tower. Oh, all right. And we'll get to work on making a Nabite cap. Knock yourself out. I'm leaving all that up to you. Huh, yeah, for once, we don't have to do it. All that's left is to make a flipper and shearing core. And that's our job, I presume. Then we can easily make a new flipper. Oh, okay, I guess that's not our job. Hey, Liner, you're a melder, right? Can you make a shearing core? Yes, I've dabbled in the melding arts. I could probably do it. Here's the recipe card for it. All right, we get the recipe card for the core. Some required graph melding to progress with the Just plot. Great. This item looks so difficult to make. That's it. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, toughen up, you big baby. Come on, it'll be good training for you. All right, let's get started. Sounds like a plan. I don't think I can make something like this. Don't worry. If you really put your heart into it, you can do anything you want. Well, it says you. Huh? Isn't the Soleil stone used to make stone memorials? Misha, do you know anything about them? I've never heard of a yes, Soleil actually. stone. I know all about these stones. Here, let me show you. Thanks. That'll really help me out. Liner, don't worry so much. You can do this. Misha. I'll help you look for the materials. I just wish I could do more to help. No, no, that's that's fine. You'd probably blow some Thanks, stuff up Misha. instead. Way to go, Liner! What? She's my girlfriend. Anyway, Misha has joined us. And is it just Liner and Misha? I'm wondering. Soleil Stones of the Tale of Reminiscence. Well, alright. Sounds like a plan to me. We can go to the tail now. And Skuwat Village. Now, because we're not playing the Orica path, um, you wouldn't know this, but... Yeah, it's just Liner and Misha. Uh, Skuwat Village is Orica's old hometown. Um, if you've been keeping up to date with the... Uh, with the Cosmosphere videos and you've been watching Orica's, uh, I believe to this point, uh, she's explained her problem with her village. Her village was burnt down a few years ago, and the history behind that is Board Raid was actually the one that burnt down her village. Uh, wait, no, 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 yeah, to the right. There we go, there's the tail, and there's Skuat Village. The board was the one that burnt down her village and actually ended up killing her parents, which is why she was so gloomy and withdrawn for so many years. And because of that, she became a pretty lousy raven tail at the start. Now she's doing a lot better. Yeah, the tail is actually a very beautiful place. And apparently you've been here before. Well, we've... We, we've had a bit of a problem with our memory this entire game. I mean, we didn't even know who Misha was at first. Well, welcome to the Tale of Reminiscence, guys. We're in the Flower Garden. This is a very nice, peaceful place. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any items around. Actually, I'm gonna throw up a Pika, because it's just Orica and... Or Orica. It's just Liner and Misha. So, I'd rather not fight anybody here. It'd be a little too complicated. Yeah, just, there we go. Throw him up. That will do nicely. Thank you, Pika. Thank you. Uh, oop, there's the blue save point. Oh, wow. Lots of treasure. Mastered criticals. Shooting speed triple plus. And the relaxation graph node crystals. All pretty decent crystals. Uh, I don't really use the green magic ones, though, that much, so. I don't know. Take what you can get. They really don't serve a purpose. I mean, green magic is green magic. It's just whatever. It's really for impatient people, I suppose. That, ooh, more treasure. Shiny fur, five of them. And the amazing power graph node crystal. Yeah, we found some pretty good stuff here. Not going to lie. But back on uh, Orica's hometown, Skuwat Village, uh, in fact, her second costume was 
name the Skuat because that's what people in her village normally wore. There's a bit more to the story. I'll go into it in depth probably a little later when it's more pertinent and makes a little more sense for me to be talking about it. Ah, there so it is. This is. The monument. That stone monument at the top of the hill is the tale of reminiscence. I think I've seen this monument before. Liner. And a flashback I can't really complain about, because we've never seen this before. Misha, do we have to say goodbye? My only complaint is that apparently a 10-year-old liner sounds like a 20-year-old liner. Man, he hit puberty fast. Yes. I have to go alone from now on. It must be tough being the star singer, huh? Yeah. I have to sing by myself forever to protect the world from destruction. So we can't go and have fun anymore? Sounds pretty boring. <laughs> no kidding. But you'll be able to stop singing someday, right? Then we can have fun out on the town. I doubt it. I have to sing for the rest of my life to keep the world peaceful. Because if I don't, the world will be taken over by evil monsters. Yeah, no one wants that. <laughs> no kidding! <laughs> Unless I get strong enough to beat all the monsters. What? When I become a full rank knight of Alemia, I'll be able to slay all kinds of monsters. Then we can have fun together, right? That might work. Great. Then that's what I'll do. I'll become a knight of Alemia. I can come and get you after beating those monsters. Liner? Wait for me until then. Do you promise? It's a promise. I'll be waiting for you. So, now Liner has actually remembered Misha. And Misha was the reason we became a Knight of Alemia. Heh, <laughs> go figure that. Misha, do you still remember that promise? Liner, do you finally remember me? I'm sorry I didn't remember you. Yeah, you really had no good excuse. That's okay. At least you remember me now. But I haven't been able to fulfill my promise yet. Oh, yes, you have. You're here with me now. And you are a Knight of Alemia, and you are beating back the viruses. And you worked hard to restore my body. And you've been protecting me. And even now, you're trying so hard to grant my freedom. Let's both work hard so that one day, we can stay together forever. This place is so beautiful. It's my favorite spot in the whole world. Well, there you go. And let's examine the monument. And get the Soleil Stone! There we go! It's exactly what we came here to do. And let's get out of here. So Liner finally remembers Misha now. Fully and completely. Ah, it's nice to see a little budding romance, I suppose. I have nothing against it. I'm a romantic at heart, anyway. So he now fully remembers Misha. He remembers the promise, and Misha has had quite a big influence on our life back in the past, it looks like. Alright, well, now that we have the stone, let's head back to Viola Forest and get Crochet to fix our airship next time on Let's Play Artanelico. This is the Musical Gamer, signing off. See you guys next video.